So if I press down once, I will go to my profile, but if I press down again, it will skip directly to the help menu item. To get us started, I will set up a container and use it to push the menu to the right hand side of the screen. So we'll do div, flex, justify, and. This should be enough, but let's continue styling this container by adding some vertical and horizontal padding. So we'll do py3 for vertical padding and px6 for horizontal padding. Then let's add a background color and a border bottom. And let's also add a content section. And here it is. Next, let's pull in the headless UI package. I'll open my terminal and say npm install at headless UI slash view. To build a drop down menu with headless UI, we'll need to import the following components menu, menu button, menu items and menu item from at headless UI slash view. Then we also need to register these components. So we'll say components and then copy these from here. Now the menu component will hold everything together. Then we'll have a menu button and this will be used to open the dropdown and menu items that will hold many menu item components and here's where we put our links we'll have my profile let's say settings help and logout if i click on the menu button we'll see the items appearing, but they are in line with the button. This is because by default, this menu component right here is rendered as a template tag. So the elements inside it are rendered directly and the parent ends up being this div right here, which is a flexbox. And that's why the elements appear in line. To fix this, we can tell our menu component to render as a div element instead. Now the menu button and the list of items are stacked, but the items themselves are still in line. We can fix this by telling the links to render as block elements. And since we are here, let's style them further by adding some padding, reducing the font size, and set the text color to text gray 700. Now the menu looks somewhat better, but as you can see it pushes down the content quite a bit. We can fix this by positioning the menu items as an absolute element. And say write 0. Save. And here it is. Let's continue styling it by adding a background. Let's say make it rounded. Add a shadow. And a border. Let's also make it a bit wider. And there it is. Now, because this is an absolute element with right zero, there's nothing stopping it from moving outside its parent. So if we were to have two menu components, save. If I click one, it will overlap the other. We can fix this by adding relative to its parent, which is this menu component. So class, relative, save. And here it is. To style the menu items on hover, we could do something like this. We could say hover bg gray 100, save, refresh, and then if I hover over the elements, it works. But this headless UI menu component comes with keyboard integration meaning that you can navigate through the items by pressing up and down and even by pressing the first letter of a menu item. But as you can see, the items are not turning gray when I use the keyboard. To style the items, we can leverage an active prop the menu item component exposes. We can do something like this. vslot active 
and then use it to set the BG Gray 100 class. BG Gray 100 when active is true. And let's remove this over BG Gray class. Refresh. And now if I press down, the items are hovered. Also, if I press L for logout, S for settings, or H for help. Let's remove this blue border right here by setting focus, outline none. And do the same for the menu button. What's also nice is that we can even disable a menu item completely by passing it a disabled prop. This will make the item unselectable and it will be skipped when using the keyboard. So if I press down once, I will go to my profile, but if I press down again, it will skip directly to the help menu item. To style it, just like the active, we have access to a disabled prop we can use. So we can do disabled, and then here we can say something like opacity 40 when disabled. Save, and here it is grayed out. Moving on, instead of having this menu text here, I would like to have the user avatar. So let's replace it with an image. I'll paste in a source, and then to style it, we could do with 10, H10, inline, and rounded, full. That looks nice. Now let's focus on the menu focus styles. We could say ring two, ring offset 2 and then ring black and rounded full looks nice let's add the focus variant and there it is let's add some margin top for the menu items Now, the final step would be to add a transition to make the dropdown appear and disappear more smoothly. We can do that by wrapping the menu items inside the regular transition element. And then for the enter, active class will have transition, transform, duration 100 is out, for the enter, from class will have opacity 0, scale 75, enter to class will be opacity 100, scale 100. For the leave active class, we'll have the same classes except now it will be is in, and leave from class will be opacity 100, scale 100, and then leave to class will be opacity 0, scale 75. Let's test it out. And here it is. Now, as you can see, the transition happens from the center of the element. We can move that by setting origin top right. So now the transition will start from the top right of the element. And here it is. Let's make the starting scale a bit bigger. So let's say 90. And here it is. That's how you can build a drop down menu using headless UI and Talium CSS. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.